Alright guys, it is finally time. The Game Awards has officially ended and man did we have some great reveal in my opinion. My channel is all about these exciting games that have been revealed right here tonight and we do have a lot to talk in today's video. So let's get into the reveals right away. Before we start, if you'd like to support, make sure you drop a like on this video as it truly helps the channel and let's start. First off, we have Back 4 Blood, the spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead has finally been revealed. One game I was immensely excited to see finally revealed and I was not disappointed. It looks exactly like I imagined it to be and I couldn't be happier. This is the next Left 4 Dead project I was waiting for. Back 4 Blood is a thrilling cooperative first person shooter from the creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. You are at the center of a war against the Ridden. These once human hosts of a deadly parasite have turned into terrifying creatures bent on devouring what remains of civilization. With humanity's extinction on the line, it's up to you and your friends to take the fight to the enemy, eradicate the ridden, and reclaim the world. Fight your way through a dynamic, perilous world in a 4-player co-op story campaign, where you must work together to survive increasingly challenging missions. Play with up to 3 of your friends online or go solo and leave your team in battle. You can also play with or against friends in PvP, become a cleaner, one of the immune survivors, with special perks or switch sides, and play as the horrific ridden. Both sides come with unique weapons, abilities, and specialties. The game will also feature extreme replayability. It'll be a new world-like card system that creates different experiences each and every time, putting you in control to craft custom decks, roll different builds, and undertake more demanding fights. The game director is constantly adjusting to players' action, ensuring exciting fights, extreme gameplay diversity, and tougher legions of ridden, including mutated bus types up to 20 feet tall. I'm super excited for Back 4 Blood, let me know what you guys thought of it. Next up we have Crimson Desert, oh man oh man does this game look beautiful. I was already aware that Pearl Abyss, its developers, were creating such graphically demanding game but I was not ready for Crimson Desert. The 5 minute Crimson Desert thriller from the South Korean publisher showcases a beautiful open world with 3D features depicted in a gritty reality. The game can be both experienced entirely in single player through its story or in multiplayer if you'd like. It's full of towns and cities as well as huge mountains, magnificent canyons, winding rivers and of course desolate deserts. Crimson Desert uses Pearl's Abyss proprietary game engine, which produces features such as dust, sand, wind, falling leaves, shimmering river waters or moving clouds in the sky. The protagonist Macduff rides a horse into the wilderness as the sun shines over the land. The trailer shows intense, fast-paced, and realistic action combat scenes. The game is set on the continent of Pywell, a war-torn world with many different territories, cities, cultures, and religions. Pywell is a land full of turmoil, with many areas, factions, and regions fighting for control. As players progress through the game, they will make choices that have meaningful effects on how the story and events unfold. The King of Temenis, the unifier of lands, lies in a coma. In the ensuing power vacuum, those who have suffered under his iron rule now seek to exploit his weakness. Macduff, a leader with a tragic past, leads a band of mercenaries fighting to reclaim their land. Macduff is a man in constant turmoil, struggling with the responsibilities of leadership and the survival of those who rely on him. He has a tragic past and no matter how hard he tries, he cannot escape from it. Crimson Desert offers an immersive single player campaign teeming with engaging quests based on the exploits of many mercenaries you'll find available for hire. There will also be a vast amount of content based around a more traditional RPG or MMORPG format. This is a world of mythical creatures who are neither friend nor foe, also cruel mercenaries vying for blood and powerful figures conspiring in the shadows of the royal court. Next up we have Warhammer 40k Darktide, oh man, this is a night of mic drops to me, I'm really liking almost every single game in this video, and Darktide is no exception. Warhammer 40k Darktide is a new 4 player cooperative first person shooter headed to Xbox Series X and Windows PC. Developed by Fatshark, makers of the Warhammer Vermintide franchise, it will be included in the Xbox Game Pass program. In Darktide, players will take on the role of a group of Imperial Guardsmen, under the direction of an 
and Inquisitor. Inquisitors are secretive agents known for rooting our heresy against the Emperor of Mankind. The setting is deep within a hive city, where zombie-like creatures roam the halls, committing untold gruesome hacks. While the game clearly draws inspiration from other FPS games like Vermintide or Left 4 Dead, there is also a comedic tone in the voice of the Inquisitor who narrates the thriller. Warhammer 40k Darktide introduces a deep and balanced gunplay to the mix. Master the balance between range and melee combat as you fight through a slew of enemies, feeling the impact of each swing of your chainsword or blazing gunfire from your last gun. Step into the dystopian and violent world of the Warhammer 40k universe, where you play the part of a convict turned agent who serves the zealous inquisition in its mission to exterminate chaos, cultist corruption. Choose your class and customize your skill set and loadout, all tailored to suit your own style of play. Upgrade your gear, customize your character's look, and prove your worth to the elusive inquisitor. Next up, we have Century Age of Ashes, one awesome looking dragon combat game. You will compete in intense, free to play online games and discover the fast paced gameplay of Century Age of Ashes. Dive into the arena alone or with friends and fight for your survival. There are three varied game modes ranging from 3v3 to 6v6v6 await you Carnage, Survival, and Raid. These are the three game modes. Experience different playstyles with three unique classes, each with their own ability. Abilities. Shield and disorient as the wind guard, track and destroy as the marauder, or stealth and trap as the phantom. How will you choose your path to victory? Additional classes are planned throughout development. Your dragon, your style. Century Age of Ashes offer carefully designed cosmetic items to stand out in the arena. Gain experience as you play and unlock awesome skins to customize your dragon and its rider. Don't worry, these items are purely cosmetic and offer no advantage in battle. Century Age of Ashes is completely free to play. In order to keep the experience fair and equitable, in-game purchases are purely cosmetic. Next up, we have the Callisto Protocol. Is this finally a true spiritual successor to Dead Space? Are we actually getting a true horror game this time? Because this game looks just like that, and I couldn't be happier. Striking Distance Studios announced its debut game, the Callisto Protocol, at the Game Awards tonight, and it looks terribly scary. Dead Space co creator and Sledgehammer Games founder Glenn Schofield is the founder and CEO of Striking Distance, so it comes as no surprise that the Callisto Protocol is is packing a big dead space feel right here. The reveal trailer opens with an inmate waking up in Black Iron Prison, which is a maximum security jail on Jupiter's titular moon Callisto. The game is put at the center with this line, a new story-driven, single-player survival horror game from the creators of Dead Space, coming 2022 to PC and consoles. The Callisto Protocol is a next generation take on survival horror. The game challenges players to escape the maximum security Black Iron Prison and uncover its terrifying secrets. It is a plan of horror, action, and immersive storytelling. The game aims to set a new bar for horror and interactive entertainment. Next up, we have Hood, Outlaws, and Legends. In a violent medieval world, outplay rival gangs and intense PvP VE multiplayer high. Heist, moving in stealth to steal treasures on scene or dominating through loud and brutal combat, only the best will escape with hard earned riches. An oppressed kingdom strangled by the iron fist of a dictator cries out for help. You must answer the call, take up arms, and fight for the people in intense, tactical team based action. Play as one of the legendary figures of yore in nail biting heist, where you must infiltrate, locate, and extract priceless treasure guarded by a powerful military force. Each mission will pit you and your friends against a rival group of four other players, who are also aiming to steal the treasure. You must outwit the guards and outplay the players in a deadly three-way battle. Between heists, visit the hideout to spend some of your stolen fortune. Giving money back to the people will increase the range of items available to you in the shops. You can improve, alter, and refine your character's natural skills via a range of perks. You can unlock new perks by earning experience points from each heist, and then purchase them with the reward money, and also customize your character and so on. 
Next up we have ARK 2, yep I definitely did not expect to see this like ever, but there's a sequel coming from the very popular open world survival game ARK Survival Evolved. ARK 2 was announced today during the Game Awards with a new trailer starring Vin Diesel. Since its release in the summer of 2015, the original ARK quickly became one of the most popular titles on Steam, whether we like it or not. The blend of multiplayer survival mechanics, crafting, base building, with raids and persistence has grown a devoted following. Not much is known about ARK 2, but you can expect it to have the same kinds of prehistoric creatures and science fiction themes as the original. One of the cool things about this thriller is that this is all in-engine, so the game could come close to look like this in gameplay, which is really cool. I wonder if there's gonna be some sort of story, because this thriller implies that a little bit. Next up we have Evil Dead the game. The newly liked World War Z developer Saber Interactive finally unveiled Evil Dead the game after years of speculation at the Game Awards today. Not much is known about the game just yet, but it'll feature both co-op and PvP. It'll also be available on all consoles. We also know that Bruce Campbell, star of the series, will be returning as Ash. The trailer, which features the first footage we've ever seen, showcases a number of faces and locals from the franchise, including the famous cabin in the woods, and Ash of course. It's great to finally see what this game is all about. It's been officially announced two years ago, but now we have our trailer. Let me know what you think of it. Next up we have Elite Dangerous Odyssey. This is said to be one of the biggest expansion ever to a game and it looks amazing, so I had to cover it. As some of you know, Elite Dangerous is a starship game where you create your own ship and do a ton of space battles and such like exploring. But this expansion right here adds something completely different to the game. The ability to be on foot and explore planets in first person. Disembark Commander and leave your mark on the galaxy in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Explore distant worlds on foot and explore expand the frontier of known space. Be the first to step out onto countless unique planets as you discover new lands. Touch down on breathtaking planets powered by stunning new tech, soak in suns rising over unforgettable vistas, discover outposts and settlements, and explore with unrestricted freedom. Take on a wide variety of contracts and play your way from diplomacy and commerce to little stealth and all-out combat. Diverse setting, objectives, and NPCs offer an endless mission variety and a near infinite amount of content to enjoy. Experience intense first person combat, kit out your character with an array of weapons and gear, and coordinate with teammates to master a multi-layered, deep, tactical environment where commanders, SRVs, and starships converge. Social hubs are spread throughout the galaxy which give commanders the ideal place to plan their next move. Form alliances, procure services, and even find expert support in highly covered engineers. These public outposts also help you acquire and upgrade weapons and gear to perfect your playing style. Next up we have Evil West. A dark menace consumes the American frontier. As one of the last agents in a top secret vampire hunting institute, you are the final line between humanity and a deep-rooted terror that now emerges from the shadows. Rise up to become a Wild West superhero, eradicate the vampire threat, and save the United States. In visceral, explosive combat, on the hell with your firearms, which are lightning fuel gauntlet and gadgets. Kill bloodthirsty monstrosities in style as a lone hunter or in co-op with a friend. Explore and fight in a narrative driven campaign while upgrading your weapons and hunting tools. Unlock new perks to evolve your monster slaying mastery, crafting your own playstyle to defeat the supernatural hordes. The main features are as follows. Battle alone or with a friend in stylish gory action combat. Myth and legends retold within a stylized, weird Wild West universe. Evolve with perks, upgradable weapons, and tools. Explore and fight through a story-driven campaign to save America. I cannot wait to see gameplay for this since this is from the creators of Shadow Warrior. Next up we have the next Mass Effect game. No new information, no title name, just a small teaser trailer of the famous series returning, which I'm pretty excited about, but I'm definitely staying careful of Bioware. Mass Effect Andromeda was not up to most people's standards, and even 
Anthem, and I really hope they can redeem themselves. The trailer's description only says, get a sneak peek at the next chapter of the Mass Effect universe. A veteran team at Bioware is in the early stages of what is on the horizon for the Mass Effect franchise, and we are excited to show you where we'll be heading next. Let me know if you guys are excited for this Mass Effect game. Alright guys, we are at the end of the video, I really hope you liked it, and if you did, please think of dropping a like on the video to give some support, and of course make sure you subscribe to stay tuned on more upcoming games. Thanks to Raj Singh Bhatti, I am Legend, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Rick No 23, and Kian Zolfagari for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents a month, which will help me and the channel as a whole to make more and better videos.